Now, um, before we begin, on behalf of the Mishima Zaibatsu, I'd like to make a correction regarding the last episode. Um, based on various in-office investigations and further review of security footage, I have been informed that it was in fact Christy Montero featured on the magazine in the control room and not, in fact, Ling Xiaoyu. While the Men of Zaibatsu photo calendar is a popular gift for the members of the security force, the Mishima HR and PR departments have both told me they would never use in-training employees in this way. I apologize for making the mistake in the commentary and promise to do better. Heihachi Mishima appreciates your support, and thank you for understanding. Wow. So, does, like, the bear hit the HR department? Yes. He actually leads HR and PR uh, due to some, um... Due to some, I guess, you know, internal issues, I'm not privy to them. Uh, he had to take over both of the uh, both of the positions. Yeah, Kuma is also in charge of BR, which stands for bear. <laughs> That's true. Bear relations. Well, because there's panda, right? Mm -hmm. What's the panda's name? I is think it it's just panda. panda. Okay. Uh, Kuma is uh, bear in Japanese. Oh. Panda is panda in Japanese. Oh, I didn't realize. Anyways, unfortunately, the door to the lab is locked, so what better way to get in than to um, just eat, like, four rations in a row before we jump into the water and swim? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, Nina's gonna get a cramp. <laughs> God, that would be a great mechanic if you ate <laughs> a ration too soon before swimming, you get a cramp. That should have been in Metal Gear Solid 3. <laughs> yeah, it's not really immersive until that happens. It feels like the kind of thing that Kojima would actually believe in. Yeah. Uh, I believe in it. Like, if he's willing to put in ice physics, I feel like he can put in uh, getting cramps physics. I'm gonna see if I can hold my breath for this long, so I'm not gonna breathe this entire time that Nina Williams is underwater. Okay, well, you can take a breath here, because there's, like, a little break. There's actually, like, a coin right at the end of the pipe that you can miss. It doesn't count. Yeah. No, Nita's still holding her breath during the text box. Yeah. Oh, you're probably right. I, you know, I think Lucas Kane could have held his breath for that long. Let's be honest. I, look, he's just worried because he's a big nerd. Yeah, it didn't, didn't actually seem that long. But I wouldn't want to go in an underwater pipe, no matter how short it was, if I couldn't see the other side. I, you know, I think that's fair. Listen... Lucas has had a very tough day already he had to, like, escape the caves. Like, he got thrown from a bridge. Like, yeah, y you know, he needs a little break. You can't expect a, a scientist to do all the super spy stuff. Yeah, Nina's sister landed on him. That's true. Anyways, um... One of these lockers is Lucas's, but he won't put his finger on it for us. You have to trick him. he's a twerp. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a dog that you have to feed medicine. You have to be like, oh, Lucas, uh, here, have this nice cold can of tab. He's like, oh, thank you. And then you have to take it out <laughs> of the trash. <laughs> yeah, and then you have to pull it off of the can. God, that'd be a great can bit. Just another reason why Nina is such a respected super spy. Mm -hmm. Ugh, classic nerd. Once he gets to a computer, he can't stop to, I don't know, avoid looking at his stock portfolio. Oh yeah, he's on Robin Hood right now. Yeah, he saw, yeah. like, this computer at a Linux boots. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, GameStop's going up again! A large amount of <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta buy the dip. It only took uh, three <laughs> years or whatever. <laughs> Nina looks over her shoulder and is like, oh, those are just Neopet stocks, actually. <laughs> it's very nice of him to just come down here to show Nina his science fair submission. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god, a rock. It's not just any rock. Methane hydrate. The stuff they make on Breaking Bad? Dormant at the bottom yeah. Of the ocean. If the water temperature rises, the crystals change into their gaseous form. The rising uh, so do I after a couple beers. <laughs> right. Because of that, ships lose their way and sink. Hey, this is a pro beer let's play. <laughs> I didn't say it was a bad thing. 
So, uh, I do. Compressed gas stuck okay. at the bottom of the ocean at a hater detected normal air pressure that's released to the surface. You don't want to light up around this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the smile, like he's so proud of that. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's been coming up with that one, like, for as long as he's been developing it. Yeah, he's been prepping this speech for someone. Salacia is the name of the satellite. There are bacteria on the ocean floor that release heat when exposed to certain electromagnetic waves. This was first... This feels very Metal Gear in a lot of ways. A little bit, yeah. I mean... This is like a Michael Crichton novel right now. Yeah, I, I feel like if these like cutaway scenes were in like like in like actual full motion video, it would be yeah. one to one. Metal yeah, if Gear this was scene. like stock footage from yeah. like the 1970s. Yeah. I took an satellite that was about to be scrapped and modified for this purpose. I had come so far, and then they decided to cancel the project. They got scared. There's 10 trillion tons of methane hydrate. He's got such an interesting of body. The amount of other <laughs> what do you think would happen if it all vaporized at once? He's just got very broad shoulders. I feel like that's very Tekken, right? Like, no matter what job you have, you could win an Iron Fist tournament. Yeah, like, I think that's what it is. Like, they're having trouble just making a guy. <laughs> right. Just like a normal guy. Right, they want to give everybody, like, Paul's hair. And they, it was like, no, we can't do that. <laughs> well, gotta put the hair down on the shoulders, then. <laughs> gotta go somewhere. Yeah. My favorite part is this he is science. does it so This is how I have to make it work. He does it so <laughs> limply. Shipping me out in the middle of nowhere like this. Why me? What did I do to deserve this? Time to go, Lucas. This is actually the most ethical scientist in the world. Mm -hmm. This facility has been quarantined due to chemical contamination. Oh my and god. still poisonous gas in this section. Unless we purify the air inside, the door won't open. We'll have to think about that in a second. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> They're just here now, off screen. Well, hello. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, unfortunately, we don't have time to worry about that because three Tekken forces just show up. But yeah, I'm always complaining to management about the deadly gas they have just everywhere in the facility. It fucking sucks. Yeah. But no, so um, now we get a little more of an understanding about what's going on. So, Lucas was working on a satellite that could turn the methane gas at the bottom of the ocean into uh, like a, a renewable fuel source. And then he got captured and was made it to turn into a death machine. He also says that he got the satellite and like reworked it. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know how he reclaimed this like old satellite, but... They probably you sent know? him up there. He put oh, okay. it, he yeah, put yeah, the yeah. USB in. I thought he like got it on Earth, right? Like it fell and he's like, oh, we can send this back up. It's still good. Yeah, they had to get like a chip and seen a spacesuit to escort him to it. <laughs> yeah. I wish that like after that scene, like Lucas gained some confidence and he would start hitting the Tekken Force guys with um the fire <laughs> extinguisher. Oh, if only. It really took it out of him. <laughs> You know. <laughs> yeah, he used all of his energy on that. So, in order to uh, navigate the gas zone, we have put on a scuba suit. Finally, a costume change. In yeah, in New Game it's Plus, can you play the entire game in the scuba suit? Uh, we will get to that later. Okay. There are a number of New Game Plus features that we will get to. One of them may or may not be costumes. I mean, it's a, it's, it's Resident Evil adjacent. I would assume that there would be costumes. Yeah. Considering the costume selection thus far, I'm not getting my hopes up. Continue to hunt down the enemy. No problems. Uh, it's a PS2 game, so there's gonna be like two extra costumes we have not seen in the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. 
And they're extremely, like, not related to the game at all, right? Yeah. It's like the Silent Hill 3, like, magical girl outfit, right, that yeah. she, that Heather gets. Yeah, Danita Williams' Krampus suit. <laughs> Uh, I think my favorite is in the original Onimusha when you get a panda costume. Yeah. And it's got, like, a little baby panda inside it that, like, just, like, animates for some reason. Ah, oh, that's Ooh. so cool. In Onimusha Tree, they should have a costume for uh, John Renault, but instead of a katana, he is a baguette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, that would be cool. He dresses like a full mime. So we have uh, another water section to navigate, but because we have the suit on, we have infinite air. Which gives us plenty of time to explore and find the last coins in this area. You really got my hopes up. I was like, oh, wow. And the whole game is like, oh, no. Still more of those. Mm -hmm. Does Jay still have to hold his breath? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, unless he has unless he has an oxygen mask. Uh, don't worry, I've been holding my breath uh, since the start of the video. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're actually uh, commentating with his ghost right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's actually telepathically sending us all of his commentary. It's been just one long exhale so far. Yeah, I'm strategically using the air I had built up to do jokes. Oh, I see. So every time you breathe out, it has to be the best joke possible. Right, which is why I've been on fire this whole uh, session. That's right. Well, I wouldn't want to be on fire here because this is where all the deadly poisonous gas is. Well, I couldn't be on fire here because I'd be underwater because I'm holding my breath. Oh, that's fair. You're right. I've also been underwater the whole recording session. Okay. Uh, Chorps, you can edit out all the bubble noises, right? Yeah, no, don't worry. I got you. I see you also noticed the shining uh, sign right there at the same time I did. Yeah, it's like, oh, wait. I also do like, <laughs> you go up to it, and it's like, oh, it's a sign. I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> yeah. thanks. Look, uh, Nina's internal monologue kind of goes one step at a time, right? Like, oh, it's a sign. Oh, this is what it says. Oh, this is what the implication is. Every time she goes up to something, it's like, oh, wow, it's an object you can interact with. <laughs> That's how I feel in real life, honestly. That's just what being part of MI6 is like. Very logical. How it's gotta be. Yeah. yeah as you can see, this has gotten um, significantly more complex. We now have to do four moves. And they're getting much bigger as we go on. Even worse, I opened this, and then I realized I have no space. <laughs> Well, you can just look at all the cool guns. Yeah, I can go like, wow, look at this one. I wish I could use it. Anyways, so we're really here for the stun baton. The stun baton is like, not the best damaging weapon, but maybe the most useful because it auto um, stuns an enemy, right? Every time you get hit, they get hit with it. It's the most epic. Yeah. So you wouldn't have to like worry about their guard anymore, right? Yeah, it staggers them automatically with every hit, so it's just like an easy way to deal with particularly annoying enemies. I think bosses stagger from it too, which is not bad. Really? I assumed they would be uh, a little bit more immune to it. They ju it's just that they don't take much damage from it, so it's like you c you'd have to use it much more tactically, I think. Mm -hmm. Or at least their stagger's much... It's like there's much less stagger on their end. Wow, a shame somebody left this inside the poison gas. <laughs> yeah. But thankfully, we have it here, and, you know, it's appropriate you talked about Breaking Bad earlier, because we're gonna have to cook. Is that a reference to the show? Yeah. Oh, okay. They make hamburgers. Oh, yum. But yeah, so we're gonna have to uh, make bleaching powder, so keep all of this in mind later, we're gonna have to do some science. Uh, is he called Jesse Pinkman because he likes to have his burgers rare? Yeah. 
It's like, um, it's like they say, right? You name your child for the job you want them to have. They mm -hmm. name them for the types of burgers he needs to eat. I really, I know the defibrillator is not a weapon, but I kind of wish it was. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you could use it as a weapon, right? Right. I, I wish you could, like, give up your free continue to use it as a weapon, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just use them like knuckles, you know. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Give it a try. I like also that Nina doesn't make any assumptions. It looks like he couldn't escape the gas, but it could have been anything that killed him. Yeah, he was probably shot. Yeah, mm. yeah, he was also just like, his throat was slit. Choked on his lunch. <laughs> it, like Man, that earlier- That would be a sad way to go. Like two hours before the gas hit, he slipped on a banana peel. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and just hit his head. He held his breath too long during a Let's Play session. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'll get ya. Yeah. So that's the door that goes back to where Lucas was. But we can't open it from this side because, again, we've got gas. It would be so funny if Nina just, like, opened it up and was like, Hey, Lucas, I have a question. And then just like, all the gas <laughs> hits him. Alt game over. Yeah, that'd be cool. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go into sprinkler system and we're going to... We're going to make a little magic happen. But not before stealing another fingerprint. Look, they just put these everywhere. I mean, people. People put their fingerprints everywhere. Yeah, I can attest, I love touching things. <laughs> gotta be honest, this game has changed my life. I now only pick up objects with my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I also only pick up things if they shine, so. Do you think if a monkey goes to jail, he has to, like, do the, like, the feet thumbprints also? Yes. I think they should make people do that also. Yeah. So we uh, can't yes. neutralize the toxic gas now, but now we need to go and we need to pull the fire alarm like a little stinker. A classic bleach, something that never can create a toxic gas. Mm -hmm. Well, not here. Listen, you can neutralize one toxic gas by making another one. That's yeah. just how it works. <laughs> it's yeah, true, they cancel each other out. It's survival of the fittest. Minus plus minus equals plus. That's how it is. Yeah, exactly. It's like how when you fight fires, you just make a different fire so that they kind of like neutralize each other. Yeah. Yeah, the fires like bump into each other and they're like, oh, sorry. And then they try to move, but they go in the same direction. That just happens for a while and they eventually die down. Yeah, there's burnout. Well, don't worry, we're done with that outfit. <laughs> I've neutralized the gas. Oh, thank God, I'm back into my outfit that is barely holding on. <laughs> it somehow looks more distressed. Y yeah, I, I don't know if it's just like, this is the first time in a while that I've seen like the shot from the back, but it looks way more torn up than it did before for some reason. I think the gas ate away at it. I think there's there's only this one destroyed state, but yeah, it does seem like every time you look at it, you notice something else that's wrong with it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just a close-up. I wouldn't expect it to be have different stages of distressing. Yeah, but Lucas didn't answer the radio call. He's in the bathroom. And it appears he's no longer at his computer. <laughs> well, why would he be uh, at that computer? It's, it's broken. It's broken. Uh, yeah, he went searching for another one. <laughs> right. Of course. You can't True. blame him. Gamer to the end. Yeah, look, he has to sell now. He has to, <laughs> he has to sell the peak. 